in this demo here, what we want to do is validate our objects, validate our buckets, create a new bucket, list the bucket, etc. So I just want to just show you here, I'm in uh, DevOps project, and this is uh, the storage buckets that are available in that specific project. Now what I want to do is go over here to basically um, GSUtil. And I want to go ahead and create a bucket called DevOps bucket, and I'll call it one. And that'll go ahead and create a bucket called DevOps bucket one. And once that's done, it'll go ahead and come back and um, basically be good to go. We'll go back and validate it. Okay, so it is there now. So let's go back to the browser and go ahead and reload. And you can see the, the DevOps bucket is now there. Okay, so now what we want to do is let's go back over here and let's go ahead and list it uh, as well going that way. Now, all I need to do is to list the uh, buckets available in my default project is go gsutil ls. And that'll go ahead and list the buckets. And it should be the same output that we just saw in the console. And that may take uh, another few seconds. It'll be ready shortly. There it is. And those are the four buckets. Let's go back and check. And again, you can see that that matches up. And now what I could do is go to this bucket. And then I could go ahead and upload files to that bucket. And what I could do here is go over to... Let's see wherever I have my photos. Uh, let's see here. Let's go ahead and just select uh, an image. So let's say I'm going to go ahead and upload Amazon. How's that? Amazon dash web services dash PNG. So that uh, image is now in uh, the, uh, the bucket. So what I want to do now is I want to copy that. Actually, um, let's go ahead and select that. And let's copy that. And also, too, I go here and edit permissions. And again, you can see that the permissions to that uh, image has owner, owner, reader, and owner. And again, I could add additional groups, domains as well, or a project. So what I want to do now is let's go back and ver verify that that is there. And now what we could do is list, for example, the details of an object in that bucket. So let's say the DevOps bucket. And what we'll do is go back to the command line and let's go ahead and uh, reference that. Now I simply go ahead in, paste in the copy or the ls command. And then what I want to do is I need to reference this bucket. And that's uh, DevOps bucket one. And so what this will do is list all the objects uh, in that bucket. And there's only one object in that bucket, and there it is. So there's that uh, AWS PNG file. Now the goal, of course, before you take the exam is to please go through the upcoming quick start, uh, go through that, add objects, add buckets, uh, transfer files, uh, whatever you wanna do, add ACLs, for example, uh, make sure that you just have an idea of how GSUtil works, uh, what the command can do. Uh, in reality, it's actually very straightforward, very simple syntax, easy to remember. Uh, you'll, of course, see one or two of these syntaxes on the exam, more than likely. And with that said, let's move on to the next module.